start off, we're going to need to remove the jacket. Move it out of our way. And now we will expose the heat exchanger, the blower, and the gas valve. In order to set the combustions, we will be adjusting at high fire the throttle screw, which is the flat, the flathead brass screw located here, and the offset screw, which is located behind this cap. In order to prepare, we will also remove our flu temperature sensor. Grabbing the metal of the sensor so that we don't damage the Molex connector. And this will allow us a sample port to take our sample reading for our anal analyzer. So we will initiate a call for heat. We need to enter the contractor menu by pushing the up and down buttons in together for seven seconds. When you see the contractor menu appear, we will scroll down to diagnostics, press the square, and then we will go down to manual test mode and again press the square. Now at the bottom of the screen we will see the forced rate and press the square and it allows you to change the rate between auto, high, medium, and low. We want high fire for the high fire CO2. We'll press the square and it'll save. As the boiler stabilizes at high fire we're now ready to take a sample reading and insert into our sample port. Allowing our analyzer to stabilize and get a true reading. If we need to raise our CO2, we will adjust our throttle screw. Once our CO2 stabilizes at the percentage in the manual, we will take our probe out allow it to clear itself and now force the boiler into low fire to set the offset. And in order to go to low fire RPM, again we're on high, we'll press the square which highlights our four straight, we'll go down to medium, low, and press the square again. Our low fire RPM should be 1175. As we get down to low firing rate and we're stabilized, we will again take our analyzer, put it back into our sample port, and wait for it to stabilize to get an accurate reading. To adjust the offset, we will need to move the sticker, the cap for the offset screw. To adjust the offset, and increase the CO2, we will turn clockwise. To decrease the CO2, we will turn counterclockwise. Once our CO2 at low fire is set, we will put our cap back into place, come back up to our control, and in our manual test mode, we will press the square, force the boiler back into high fire, press the square to save again, and this time we're going to just go up to verify that we're still within our tolerance of CO2 at high fire. And we see that we're within an acceptable range. We can remove our analyzer and allow it to cool. While it's cooling back down, we can take our fluid temperature sensor grommet off. It points a point. The point will point down. And then when we put our probe back into the ground, boiler can now be forced back into auto rate by pressing the square in manual test mode, scrolling to auto, pressing the square again to save, and it is back into automatic mode where we can scroll back to the home screen and allow the boiler to run. We will put the bottom in first and then rotate up and lock in the two latches. 